million worth of oysters are now farmed on the New Jersey side of the Delaware Bay, but state laws have long made it impossible to farm oysters in Delaware's inland bays. I'm sorry to have to say that uh, in the 50 states of the United States, uh, Delaware is the next to last state in the country to be doing this. So. <laughs> Every state along the eastern seaboard, with the exception of Delaware, has commercial shellfish aquaculture activity. John Ewart has researched oysters since the 1970s and has spent years trying to bring oyster and clam aquaculture to Delaware. Due in part to Ewart's advocacy, in 2013, Governor Markell signed legislation to allow for shellfish farming in Delaware's inland bays. State officials have identified 442 acres in Rehoboth Bay, Little Assawoman Bay, and Indian River Bay to potentially open up for oyster and clam farming. But some home and business owners on those bays are not happy with the placement of those plots. David Green helped start the Coalition to Save Beach Cove. I realized it was a, a bad choice, and so I went and knocked on doors, literally, and started finding people that were of like mind. And before long, we had seven large communities, roughly 300 homeowners, who said, yep, you're right, let's, let's go. Green calls Beach Cove, where he lives, peaceful and serene, and doesn't want it to be marred by up to 24 acres of oyster beds, with PVC piping and buoys sticking out of the water. He says they would be as close as 200 feet from his dock. I'm not against oysters, I'm not against agriculture I'm in the right spots. We're very concerned about the environmental impact on Beach Cove, about the navigational challenges, the recreational challenges. Uh, aesthetically, of course, it's, it's not going to be very pleasant to look at, um, and uh, it's just a bad spot. Green's group says some of the proposed beds are in an unmarked channel. Blocking it would prevent boats from navigating out of the cove into Indian River Bay at low tide. After a review, the Army Corps of Engineers has suggested state regulators get rid of five of those plots to allow for boat navigation. It's a compromise. It's not a great compromise, though, because uh, all of the other concerns that we have all remain. In Little Assawoman Bay, inland from Fenwick Island, Jennifer Adams Mitchell is worried shellfish beds would hurt her kayak and sailboat rental business. Where they've located the lease areas are on either side of our, um, our opening here and um, they're pretty close to the shoreline where they put them. So at low tides, kayakers and paddleboarders are not gonna be able to go around them on the inside of them, on the shoreline, which is where we like to keep all of our paddlers. Adams Mitchell is also bothered that she didn't know about the proposed shellfish regulations until they'd already been written. Our problem with it is that so many of the people that live and work on the bay were not included in the um, initial decision-making process of where to place the plots. I think there is room on the bay, I just don't think where they put the plots was at all the best place to do it. John Ewart, though, says not only will the oysters bring money into Sussex County, but they'll improve water quality as well. They filter the water, okay, that's how they get their food. So they help, um, you know, clarify the water, which allows sunlight to go, you know, deeper down and helps submerge aquatic plants which is habitat for, you know, small fish and invertebrates. And then uh, they themselves, uh, when they form reefs, um, provides, you know, structure and, and habitat for a lot of, lot of little critters.